and founder of The Power Is Now Incorporated, Eric Frazier. Hello, everybody, and welcome to The Power Is Now. My name is Eric Frazier. It's a beautiful day in Southern California, a great day to talk about real estate. In fact, we have a special edition today on a marketing session where we're going to be talking to one of our VIP agents, a very important person who is doing great things in the community. Her name is Jenny Gonzalez. And uh, we'll be bringing to you, bringing her to you in just a few minutes. Welcome to the Power Is Now. The Power Is Now is a media company. We began in 2008, and uh, go to our website, thepowersnow.com, where you can find online radio, online TV, online magazines, uh, information, tools, and resources to help you become a homeowner or help you sell your home if you are already a homeowner. Our name, The Powers Now, suggests that we maximize our potential for success in business and life when we act on information and opportunities now. We are at our best, and we maximize our success when we act now. And our slogan and theme is, The Power Is Now. And so we certainly hope that you take advantage of the opportunities to buy real estate, to sell real estate, to build wealth. And today we're going to be talking about that indirectly by presenting to you a special agent who brings unique experience and, and talents and ability uh, to help you sell if you're looking to sell or to help you buy if you're looking to buy. Before we uh, join uh, Jenny Gonzalez, I want to encourage you to become a member of The Power Is Now. And by being a member of The Power Is Now, you're able to receive notifications of our events, uh, live Facebook uh, events, as well as live events in the community, and also to receive notification of shows that we have happening uh, throughout the week in which we talk about real estate, talk about mortgage programs and financial uh, products and services. Now, in addition to being the host of The Powers Now, I'm also Vice President and Mortgage Advisor for First Bank. First Bank is a full service bank, license number 551982. And then my license number as an originator is 461807. I tell you, I love working for First Bank and the great products and services they have to offer. And uh, if you're looking to buy or to refinance, please consider First Bank. Uh, you will not regret it. Now, please uh, tune in with us every week where we have information about uh, real estate agents as well as information about properties for sale. And uh, this show today is uh, one of those examples where we are going to be talking about a real estate agent by the name of Jenny Gonzalez. Now, normally in the marketing session, we talk about real estate for sale, properties for sale. And if you are a real estate professional and you have a listing, please reach out to us. We'd be more than happy to your listening to our audience and to talk about uh, what's happening with the property, what the price is, and the great opportunity there is to buy it. All right, without any further ado, uh, Jenny, if you could uh, turn on your video. Uh, welcome to The Power Is Now. Thank you, Eric. My oh. name is Jenny Gonzalez, and I'm with Keller Williams Corona. My license number is 01249788. And my cell phone number is 951-316-0374. And my email is jengonzalezre at gmail.com. And that's two Zs in Gonzalez. And you can reach me either way by phone or by email. Well, Jenny, thank you so much for uh, joining us today on The Power Is Now. And folks, I encourage you to reach out to Jenny. I've had an opportunity to sit down with her, to, to talk with her. Uh, and one of the things we do is to, we vet real estate professionals who uh, come on our show and the real estate professionals that we consider to be VIP agents. And we vet them. We make sure their licenses get standing. We make sure they are credible and experienced individuals. And uh, one of the great things about the VIP agent program is that um, 
we identify the movers and the shakers, you know, out there in the community that are making it happen for consumers. And Jenny Gonzalez, one of those individuals. So thank you so much, Jenny, for taking time out of your schedule today to uh, join me on The Powers Now. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Uh, no problem. Now, Jenny, we have a tradition on this show where we ask all of our guests, um, what does the phrase, the power is now, mean to you in the context of who you are and what you do professionally? The power is now. What does it mean? The power is now means to me that now is the time to deal in real estate. The rates are lower than they've been in a very long time. We're in an uncertain time in which we have an election year coming up and we have an ability to forecast that in 2020, there's going to be an uncertain type of atmosphere. And right now is the time, the best time people are looking for homes and people need to buy homes. And the market right now is booming and people can afford homes right now. And we know that they can afford homes right now. If we look in the future for next year, we don't know what's going to happen for next year. It's an election year. They're talking about a recession. They're talking about possible job loss. Do you want to be in that category of owning a home or not owning a home? Do you want to be in renting to where possibly your landlord is losing money so they're going to have to up your rents? I don't think so. The power is now to buy or sell your home. Jenny, I could not agree with you more. Uh, there is a great deal of uncertainty uh, with uh, another election coming up, and we don't know what's going to happen there. But the biggest threat is a possible recession. And there are many buyers that I speak to that think that they might be able to get a better deal in a recession. And uh, my response to them is that, well, you may not have a job in a recession. So uh, the uncertainty is real and the opportunity is really right now with interest rate at historic lows. And uh, actually inventory too is, is improving. It's still low, but it is improving. Uh, nice. What are you finding actually in your market area? Is inventory improving or, or is it still a purely low inventory? Actually, the inventory is really good right now. I checked around three months ago and we only had about 116 listings in Corona. And now we're at about 460. So that is a huge jump. And I think that's because we are past the summertime where everybody was, you know, just buying them up and multiple offers. And now we're in a point where people actually need to move. And if you really think about it, when you're in a property and you're talking about a recession, if you are a homeowner and you are in a home, the bank is more likely to actually help you out than a landlord is. Let's just say that you got a cut in pay or you, know, you have to work one day less and your, your pay is less. That landlord isn't gonna care. They're just gonna say, sorry, we're gonna find another tenant that can pay the rent and you need to go somebody somewhere else. You know, uh, that's such an important point because that is really the difference between renting and owning a home. Yes. If you find yourself in any type of uh, financial difficulties and you can't make the rent, you're going to be out of there in, in short order. Yes. But if you own a home, there are all kinds of programs now, especially after the great financial crisis. Uh, all these rules and laws have been put into place where lenders just can't kick you out. They have to find a way to work with you, give you time. and Give you plenty of time. They give yes. you plenty of time. And I have come across, I've done so many, um, I've helped a lot of people, you know, go that route of, you know, what paperwork do I need? And, you know, I've actually helped people get loan modifications um, with no charge whatsoever. I just say, you know what? refer people to me if you know anybody that needs to buy or sell. I'm one of those people that, you know, if you are having difficulties, I'm constantly going by driving around. And if I see a property that is in dire need of something, I have a flyer automatically ready to go and knock on that door and say, how can I help you? What education material can I give you to help you save your home or do whatever is best for you and your family? Well, that's great that you're doing that. And again, folks, for those of you who are looking to buy your first home, 
Um, this one benefit of just, because everybody, I don't care who you are, you can make a million dollars a year or, you know, $20,000 a year. If whatever reason you own a home and you find yourself in a financial difficulty uh, of any type, uh, lenders must work with you right now. Landlords, um, <laughs> their goal is to get you out of there as quickly as possible as soon as you start uh, finding uh, difficulty making the rent. And so it is a big reason why everyone should take advantage of the opportunity to buy right now while rates are low, inventory is improving, and the opportunity to buy is now. So, Jenny, you are out of Corona, Keller Williams, and how long have you been a real estate agent? I've actually been in real estate since November of 1998. So wow. that'll be 21 years in November. So 21 years in the business, that means you have seen a lot and you bring a lot of experience. And your experience is not just with uh, selling real estate, but also being on the loan side. And not too many real estate agents have that kind of a dual experience. And uh, that does make a difference for you, doesn't it, in working? Oh, in the completely. Because when I get a phone call or a question, I'm, a lot of times the first question out of their mouth is about mortgages. So it is totally <laughs> beneficial when I have the background to be able to tell them whether or not I think that their situation is doable or not. And I can kind of screen them prior to giving them to my lender, Eric, of course. <laughs> and it is really helpful and the look on their face to be able to know that they have somebody that has that background and can answer those questions. I can't right off the bat tell you, okay, this house is going to be, your payments can be this much just right off the top of my head. But I do have the ability on my phone to pretty much do in about two minutes. <laughs> uh, but Yes, I loved doing both loans and real estate, but at some point in time, I had to pick one or the other. And real estate really was my passion because the look on the faces of people when they get in their new homes is absolutely priceless to me and means everything to me. So um, I went that route. Now, passion is everything. And I believe that, and this is especially for young people, you know, Whatever you decide to do in your life, make sure it's something you love and you're passionate about it because then it's not work, right? It's not Correct. work. You're really passionate and you love what you do. So how did you actually get into selling real estate? What were you doing before? I was actually working at a prison in medical records and <laughs> I had three boys under five and my husband was tired of us being on lockdown and them telling me if I wanted to get out on lockdown to jump out the window and break my leg. So I actually had my oldest one was in T-ball and one of the dads and coaches was actually in a real estate and mortgage. And he was talking to me and he's like, you're a real numbers person. Had you ever considered doing loans in real estate? And I said, no, I haven't. And he says, I want to talk to you. He says, you'd be perfect for that. And I talked to him and it was a process of learning loans first because loans are the basics. And after six months of doing strictly loans, then I jumped into doing both and it was extremely beneficial. And I was able to work from home and raise my kids at the same time. And that was much better than jumping out of a window and breaking my leg. <laughs> wow. I can't even imagine being in a lockdown situation in a prison and having to jump out a window to save yourself. Well, 21 years later, you're, you're far from that. And um, uh, are you still as passionate, Jenny, about helping people in selling real estate uh, today as you were then? Oh, definitely. I have been, especially lately, because there's such an uh, need for agents right now with all the technology out there and all the tech companies out there that we have competition against it is more important than ever for us to be out there and actually physically out there in people's faces and educating them and telling them what's going on with the market asking them if they have any questions it is more important than ever to do that and with my knowledge and experience when I go in there I'm not aggressive 
but I make it so it's a personal situation. I establish those relationships and that takes me all the way through and gets me my referrals and that is my base. So would you say that most of your business is referral business or do you, do you do a lot of advertising? I have about 90% of my business is referral based. That's either past true. clients or so on and so forth. The rest of it usually comes from a sign call or an open house, or um, sometimes I'll get um, someone just, I happen to meet. So right. it, it doesn't, you know, 90% of my business is referrals. And like, I really don't spend a lot of money on marketing. I do market a lot myself. I'm constantly on Facebook, on Instagram. My husband absolutely hates it, but <laughs> that's the only way to get out there. And I have a lot of people telling me, you know, it's inspirational and thank you for the information. I really try and get as much information. When I put stuff out there, it's usually a lot of educational information, as much right. education as I can get. Well, I'm so glad you're with us today. Uh, this is uh, Facebook Live as well as uh, Block Talk Radio. And uh, the word's going to get out there about you, Jenny Gonzalez, because you are an extraordinary person, and I love the education and the inspiration you bring. Now, uh, one of the things I, I want you to share with our audience is, you know, your first transaction. Every agent has their first transaction, and it is it probably sets the tone for their whole career. Yes. Into perform. Yes. Tell our and audience. I, I'm still in contact with my first clients. <laughs> <laughs> Tell our audience about your first transaction. Yes. My first transaction was actually, um, I was encouraged to do um, things in public. So I met a couple um, that had three little girls. I had three little boys, same age. And I was at a uh, school carnival at a booth. And I was not uh, real comfortable yet with, you know, being out there like that, but I did. And I met this great couple and they were curious as to, can we buy a house? Because he was a police officer. She was a stay at home mom with three kids and they're in an apartment. And I found, and it was in the nineties, it's called officer next door program in which gave him a discount on home in certain neighborhoods. And he uh, took that opportunity and they lived there for a little while. He got promoted and moved up north and other places. And I actually had such a great relationship with them and they trusted me so much. When they moved back to Southern California, there was a house in Riverside that they were interested in. I went and looked at it and I said, this is perfect for you guys. They went ahead and opened escrow and they didn't even see the house till we finished our first uh, home inspection. Wow. They bought the property site on scene just, yes. just on your recommendation. That is correct. Yes. And it's wow. a great house. <laughs> now, the Officer Next Door program still exists today, folks. And this program is for police officers, uh, firefighters, teachers and as well. Teachers. teachers as well. And the, the, the HUD will give you a 50% discount. Yes. You have to in the property for three years uh, in order to get that discount. And uh, it's a really great program, a needed program to to get professionals like police officers and teachers who have them living in and what is considered to be disadvantaged communities. Yeah, and a lot of times the homes are not in really horrible areas. They're just in areas that needs, you know, they're, they're specifically um, proportioned to where um, there's a need for maybe a little bit of overlook in the neighborhood. It's not right. necessarily, you know, your neighborhoods where you're scared to be in. And some right. of them are. If you're one of those, like I have um, one police officer where he wants to be in that kind of situation so that he can, you know, boost his ego or whatever it is. But, <laughs> um, but it's a great program. And, yes, they include nurses and teachers. And mm -hmm. that's the problem is that they're no, they don't know about it. And right. I actually have a website set up for uh, – uh, for that, and I have that information posted, and I keep trying to get it out. <laughs> um, and I'm I'm grateful for you to bringing that up as well. Well, hey, we can help you get that information out, folks. In fact, you're going to be hearing a lot from Jenny right here on the Powers Now. She's a VIP agent with the Powers Now, and we're so glad uh, to have her on our platform uh, to share information, to talk about the market and what's going on 
and Corona, where uh, she leads her team. Now, uh, tell us, uh, Jenny, a little bit about how you help uh, buyers buy, sellers sell. You know, what are some of the strategies you employ to engage uh, the consumer to achieve their goals? Well, first of all, with buyers, I will not meet with them until they are already pre-approved. Okay. They That's call me or contact me. Mm -hmm. I, I am very specific because um, they don't understand that we are not paid to just sit with them and drive them around. Right. Um, that's a misconception. Mm -hmm. And so I make sure that they are pre-approved right off the bat. Mm -hmm. And then once they do that, then I am very diligent. The worst thing that people are doing right now with regards to agents and, and people who are just looking by them, trying to look by themselves on their phones or whatever is what are the taxes on the property? Are there special assessments? Are there HOAs? Because these things will kick them out of being pre-qualified for that home. Yeah. I have had I had a recent client in which he actually we actually saw a house and the wife was in love with it and the husband's like, well, what do we? I wanted to see this house and I kept telling him, you can't see this house because the payment is this. And he says, but I'm willing to pay that. And I said but the lender will not give you the money for that loan. So I can't show you that property. I'm not gonna show them properties and get their hopes up and then have to tell them that they can't have those properties. With regards to sellers, sellers are very interesting right now. They are all about the dollar. But what they don't realize is the dollar bottom line, I can get the most for it because I've got strategies that they are not getting from other agents there's three key things in order to get the most out of your house okay. in regards to cash in your pocket. So are you going to share that with us now or the need to reach mm. out? No, because <laughs> I have hard. to get the appointment so that they can actually ask me those three things. <laughs> hey, I love that strategy. So let me take you back to buyers for a second. Uh, in working with buyers, uh, do you actually do like a needs analysis so you're clear as to what they need? In addition to understanding what they qualify for, you are clear as to what they need. Tell us about that process. I actually have them put that to me in writing. I and I have, them, I have them send to me old style email because I like everything in writing. Right. If you're putting something in a text, I don't like to have to scroll down to try and figure out what you said three days ago. So I have them after I have a, a phone call conversation with somebody or a text conversation with somebody, I always follow it up with an email. So I know very specifically what they need. And if any changes go, then I will send another email saying, I am verifying that these are the changes that we are making in, in our process. So there's absolute clarity as to what the buyer needs are and uh, where they want to buy the rooms they need, the, the, the yard, the, you know, yes. the location to schools, the communities they want to be in. You're getting all that information from the client uh, and before you start the search, in addition to the pre-approval. And I'm so glad you said that because uh, it all starts with understanding the numbers, right? What is yes. it actually qualify for and there's a difference between what you qualify for and also what you can afford right that is correct that is correct i actually just had a client who just closed escrow a couple of weeks ago and she was qualified for a certain amount but she was single and because they qualified her based off of her gross amount not the net that she was getting at the end of the day she kind of was had to change her outlook on where she was going to live because we had to narrow it down to a certain community because she wanted her payment at a certain point so that she had money for food and gas and if something came up that she needed to pay for. So yeah. things come up and people need to realize that. It's not, and I, when I sit down with people and I'll sit down with a lender, a lot of times I will, the word comes out, what are you comfortable with? Not what you can qualify for, it's what you're comfortable with. Right, exactly, exactly. I recommend a budget. In fact, uh, for those of you who may be listening for the first time, if you're thinking about buying a home and you, even if you have been pre-approved, I highly recommend going to mint.com, M-I-N-T.com. I 
This is one of my favorite platforms. It will help you set up a budget and you can actually see what you're working with because your loan approval is based on your gross income and nobody lives on their gross income. Everybody lives on their net, what they bring home. So net.com is a great resource. Now quickly going back to sellers. Uh, so you specialize in Corona, right? How long have you been working in the area so people can know that you truly are an expert of that Corona area? Yeah, I, I, my first listing was in Corona okay. and um, odd enough, in the late 90s, they did short sales. <laughs> and my first listing was a short sale. Um, it was a couple in their 30s, and she had had breast cancer and treatments and everything, all the hospital bills. He had to um, quit his job to take care of his wife. And then oh. she became pregnant. Oh um, <laughs> so um, they had to move because they were not going to be able to, you know, afford and they couldn't afford their place, but they didn't want to destroy their credit. I had had a handwritten note that I had sent out to them, and they said that that was what had them call me, which was very uh, telling to me as to where I needed to go in my future. Mm -hmm. And people like handwritten notes. Mm -hmm. And I got it done. And a year later, they came into my office with their beautiful baby girl. And um, yeah. that experience was wonderful. Even though it was hard because my first one was a short sale, which means they owed more on the property than they actually uh, could sell it for. And we got the bank to reduce it down because of their situation. And we were able to sell it and they were able to buy again two years later. Wow, what a great story. And I can't imagine how you felt, you know, at the end, you know, she made it through the cancer. They had, the, had a baby in the midst of all of that. And uh, you were able to help them to sell their property and move forward. That's yeah. I, I say some of the some of the things that agents are able to accomplish with people, especially when they are in really challenging situations. Uh, this is where uh, being an agent is such a special yes. role, such a special job, isn't it? Yes, it is. I mean, I even had one instance last year where I had a seller that was a referral to me from an actual friend. And the, the property was a great property. We got it into escrow. The, um, I was very trusting of these people. And at the, at the end, I ended up reducing my commission because the appraisal came in low and he had no problem with that. You know, he's kind of like, why are you doing that? And I'm like, I told you that you would get this certain amount. Um, I promised that. Um, and then I actually had to be a, um, at the end of the transaction, I had to stop the closing of a property because my seller did some stuff that was not under contract and the, mm -hmm. I needed to protect the buyer at that time as well as the seller. They mm -hmm. had actually changed the locks prior to the final walkthrough and switched out the, the uh, stove and the refrigerator out of the stainless steel and oh put in stuff from yard sale stuff. Oh and had locked the do oh, locked the door so the buyers couldn't see. Yeah, and that was the day that the, we were supposed to be funding, oh and I, I had them stop the funding on it. Yeah, so I had to, I, I look out for both parties. I'm not going to have a lawsuit on my hands because a seller is not listening to what I say. <laughs> right. Well, that just shows you're a person of integrity. And even though you have a fiduciary responsibility to the seller as a listing agent, yes. Uh, Buyer's agent has a fiduciary responsibility to the buyer. Um, neither one of you can break the law or violate the contract intentionally, you know, and, or do something that is uh, immoral and unethical. And so uh, good for you in uh, calling the seller on it. Please tell me they put back the... They put back the refrigerator and the <laughs> stove, yes. Oh, wow. So we closed a day later. That's, uh, that's fantastic. Well, it's also true. This is another example. Integrity is everything in this business. It is. In fact, being members of the National Association of Realtors and even the California Association of Realtors, of which you are, you have to abide by a code of ethics. All real estate agents do and how you're conducting business. And you take that obviously very seriously. In fact, uh, it's not part of the code of ethics, though, for you to reduce your commission <laughs> if Property comes in low, and that just shows again who you are. Um, yeah, I've I have even words. you know when it comes to 
termite clearances, you know, negotiating, you know, giving a little on that. Sometimes they're a little, I had one where I was, uh, I sold the property for, for the seller and they were buying a, a larger home and they were short on their closing costs for the second home. So I actually helped pay for their closing costs on their new home because you know, they had special assessments and all that stuff we already yeah. knew about, but we yeah. weren't sure exactly what the number was going to be. And I went ahead and did that as well. You know, it's all about the client. And I knew them from actually when I worked at the prison, I knew them back there bef before they were even married. Oh, <laughs> um, but um, that was a, an experience in which um, it was very, very um, stressful for them. And I just needed to take the stress off of them. Just like I knew when I, when I went over there, you know, when it was closed the day before, um, the yard in the back was just a mess and the trees is a, a property and actually in Norco and they have large lots right. and uh, it's a beautiful property, but it had been overgrown. The trees looked horrible. And I thought, oh my gosh, they're going to come from that other house and they're going to come over here and he's going to throw a fit because he's got to do all this stuff. So I just hired a gardener. He spent eight hours over there cleaning up that yard and it looked like a beautiful yard and I'm like yeah. and they got there and they were so surprised and they were very excited like needless to say I got a couple of referrals a day after that. Wow Jenny again another example of your commitment just to get it done right get it done yeah. and get it done right you know you shared a story with me earlier and I would like you to share that too about one transaction you had where um, the deal fell out on the other end and you had to get involved to get that property sold. Tell our audience about that commitment to get the job done. Yes, I had a situation this year where I had a listing and the family was a mother in a wheelchair with MS and the daughter and husband and kids were there taking care of her and they needed to sell the home to get a larger home. And I was an escrow on the property, but it was contingent on the buyer selling their property, but they were an escrow on that property. About halfway through, uh, we, we were an escrow on a property that they were buying as well, that they had fallen in love with. But halfway through the transaction, the buyer for the property that we were selling fell out. And I contacted the seller directly and let her know and I contacted the other agent as well on the side that they were buying and letting them know what was going on. And I was talking with the agent from the buyer side and he just didn't know what to do. So I actually just took it upon myself to market his property that had fallen out of escrow to see if I can get buyers for that property. Because in all instance, that's I think the right thing to do is to try and find buyers for him. So it wasn't like I was trying to get a buyer for the money. I was trying to get a buyer so that we could continue with escrow. And but so I marketed his property for him. And uh, how quickly were you able to get a buyer? Actually, we gave him time and I was not able to find a buyer, but we found another buyer for our property. And then we actually found a better house for the clients because the house actually had everything made for it for wheelchair access. Okay, okay. So everything happens for a reason in this industry. I truly yeah. believe everything happens for a reason in this industry. But we, if we do go above and beyond and we do everything that we absolutely can do, we turn over every rock and we do everything that we can, we don't just sit back and try and let it happen to us. We've got to be more proactive and make it happen now. Jenny, you are so right. In fact, what a great segue into just uh, sharing with our audience right now. Why should they choose you, you know, to represent them uh, in selling their home or in buying a home? What, what makes you uh, so unique? And really, the stories you've shared have, had kind, of, have kind of supported that. But what, what makes you, if you can get a little bit more specific, so unique uh, to be really their only choice. <laughs> I think personally, between the relationship that I automatically will set up with a client, uh, we kind of, uh, I guess I can say I try and uh, be friends with everybody and mm -hmm. because everybody is unique in their own way. And mm -hmm. 
I'm unique in my own way that I like to make friends with everybody. Not everybody agrees with that. Yeah. Uh, you, you have to establish an actual relationship. And right. then you show them your actual value. And yeah. my value is my experience and my knowledge. And there's absolutely nothing in this world that's beyond that. I also take a, an approach in which I am constantly in touch with my clients. My mm -hmm. clients will hear from me all the time. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I bug them, <laughs> but if they, if they tell me, hey, you know, contact me next week, I'll contact them next week. But I am one of those people that I just take action. I don't wait for anything to happen. I just take that action now. And when it comes to buying and selling real estate, you want somebody that's not going to just pawn it off as just another transaction. You want them to take it as a personal transaction. And I take every single transaction as a personal transaction because that is a personal relationship that I've established. Mm, I love that. It's, it's all personal. It's not business. Yes. It, it is. And for me, it isn't about the bottom line number. It's about the people. I don't right. even count my checks. Right. I don't know what my check's going to be until I actually receive it in my hand. I don't count my check. Right. I actually just do my job. And then at the end of the day, I get a check when it closes. No, we don't get paid for driving you around, for, for talking to you on the phone or anything else. I've had somebody tell me, don't you get paid for, you know, showing houses? No, we, we do not get paid unless we actually close a deal. Right. So, you know, and then for me, key is follow up. Just because a person closes escrow doesn't mean you just stop talking to them. Mm. You give them, you know, a day or so to kind of settle in and say, hey, is there any, do you have any questions about anything? Is there anything I can help you with? And then you follow up another week later. Hey, is there any, how's it going over at the house? You know, right. that's, that's, that's me. That's, I think I'm a little different in that. Well, the, the follow-up is easy when you establish a relationship. You become yes. friends with your clients. You're committed to their, uh, helping them to achieve their goals. You make their transaction like it's your own. It's personal. It's not business. And so this is why 90% of your business is referral business. I can see that just in talking with you, Jenny. And uh, I'm, I'm so glad that we're working together, that you're on the team. And uh, folks, if you're looking for an agent, that you could uh, truly work with, get to know, like, make even a member of your family. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if you I like family. That's, that's it. That's it. Jenny Gonzalez, she is the one to call. Now, Jenny, we're just about out of time here. So I, I want to make a couple of very important points. At least I want you to make a couple of very important points. You are not a kind of a one-man show, right? You work on a team, and so uh, it's not all on you. You work together with others on a team, and um, you're result-oriented, result right? You're, you're, you're about getting the goal and achieving the goal. So tell us a little bit about the team, the operations, and how you kind of make it all happen. Okay. I have always had um, buyer's agents or other agents that I work with, and so with I'm gone or I'm unavailable. I always have somebody that I can forward the information on so that someone can be contacted right away. But I have a group that I established at Keller Williams called the Hometown Heroes Group. And we focus on veterans, nurses, first responders, teachers, all of our heroes. And I made some really special relationships with these people. And uh, they are very helpful. I've, I've, got, I've got people that will do anything and we work together. And if I have to be at an inspection in one place, but I need to be in another place, I have anybody that can, can come over and do that. I help my agents with everything as well. I'm there for them just as much as they are for me. And I think that's extremely important. And I've been working with the veterans here in Corona and Riverside County. And we've helped um, at the job fairs. Uh, we collected uh, interview clothing for them and doing all of that. And the networking that's going on is absolutely phenomenal as well. And being recognized in the community and uh, having people come up to me, the mayor coming up to me and saying hi to me, having Cervantes office come up and say hi to me. Um, it's really great. But 
Um, it's, it's really a group effort. If you're by yourself, you can do it. And I've done it by myself. Um, and I've been able to tackle it myself, but truly, if you are a truly successful agent, you have people to back you up. And yeah. I have really good people to back me up and systems do that. We have, um, everybody's assigned certain areas and certain jobs and certain follow-ups and I am on top of them with that. <laughs> and I have a great crew that goes all the way east to Hemet and I have, and we can do all of Inland Empire and it's fantastic. And even if I don't have the agents in my group itself, because I have so many connections with Keller Williams, I can literally sell a house anywhere. I can sell a house in Florida. I can sell a house anywhere. So it's, it's really a great group. And um, I'm really thankful for all the tools that were given as well. Um, they just updated our technology and it's absolutely phenomenal. The stuff that um, is gonna be come out with us. Uh, you got your great stuff coming <laughs> that you have already, but uh, for our personal stuff, they've made it really easy for us to keep every all of our transactions in great um, consistency and to make sure everything has their I's dotted, the T's crossed. I have a great transaction coordinator that reads my mind. And uh, I used to do transaction coordinating until I joined Keller Williams. I did it for other people and because I was a control freak. Yeah, I always right. had to have everything in control, but now I, I can spend more time on my business and let somebody else do the paperwork. Right. Well, Jenny, uh, I tell you, uh, I'm, I'm excited about uh, 2020 uh, and uh, what you're going to do, especially now with the added support uh, of the power is now. You already are part of a great franchise, Keller Williams, with tremendous tools and a powerful network nationwide, enabling you to sell real estate anywhere, in addition to having the latest technology to market and support sellers in, in getting attention to uh, their properties. But uh, I can't wait uh, to get your, ne ne your next listing on the Power Is Now magazine. And folks, uh, uh, one of the reasons why we've asked uh, Jenny to be a part of that, because we want to bring attention to our buyers who are looking to buy homes and our sellers who are looking to get their homes sold. We want to bring attention to their property and we use online radio. This very show is going to be broadcast on Blog Talk Radio, iTunes, TuneIn, Spreaker, all the podcasts that are out there. In addition to that, it's on the Powers Now TV, Facebook Live, and on top of that, her listings will be on the Powers Now magazine which is an e-magazine distributed nationwide. And so, uh, Jenny, I, I can't wait. I can't wait to get started. Welcome to the VIP Agent Program. Thank you so much for taking your time uh, with us today uh, to talk about your experience and, um, and what you do to help buyers buy and uh, sellers sell. And folks, if you're looking for a great agent, you need not look any further. Jenny Gonzalez. Keller Williams agent extraordinaire. So happy she's on the team. Jenny, in our final comments, if you could uh, just share your contact information again for those who are listening on the radio. For those of you who are watching on the Powers Now TV, the information is on the screen. Uh, but provide uh, your uh, telephone number, email address again, Jenny, and your last call to action uh, for buyers and sellers to reach out to you. All right, yes, this is Jenny Gonzalez with Keller Williams Corona. And my phone number is, my license number is 01249788. My cell phone number is 951-316-0374. And my email is jengonzalezre at gmail.com. And there's two Zs in Gonzalez. And the take action, right now is the best time to buy and sell real estate. Why? Because there's inventory, the rates are low, and there is absolutely no better time right now. Nobody else has this time as now. Next year, we don't know what's gonna happen, but right now is the great time. And if you don't take action now, then you may not be able to take action later. Well spoken, well said. The power is now.
It really is, folks. Don't let uh, time rob you of an opportunity to buy right now. Anything can happen. Tomorrow is not promised to us. Life circumstances could change at any time. And you need a professional to help you to achieve your goal. Don't try to do it on your own. Work with pros in the business like Jenny Gonzalez. Well, thank you again, Jenny, for joining me today and being a part of the show. And um, we certainly hope that all of our listeners will reach out to you, especially anyone in the Corona area. Thank you. Have a great evening, everyone. Remember, the power is now. Talk to you soon.